Hello and welcome to this design and technology lesson and this lesson we're looking at two-point perspective and we're calling this lesson the maze. So as you can see here we've drawn a diagram of a maze and we're using this using the two-point perspective method. So we've got a vanishing point here and a vanishing point there. So just take a closer look at that and there's the maze and let's start. So first of all we've got a title here, Two Point Perspective, The Maze, and I'm going to use a pencil. I have a um, 2H pencil here and an HB pencil. I also have a ruler and an eraser. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to quite a couple of centimetres perhaps down from their title and we're putting in a horizon line. Then we're going to add a vanishing point here and a vanishing point there. Um, I think you can see those. I could just um, add, put those in with a fine liner so you can see them. And I'm just putting across there so we've got vanishing point and we've got her horizon line. Now if we look at the maze, the, the, the corner here, we're starting with this, this this edge here we're going to draw and the corner here is offset towards, we call this VP1 and VP2, so it's offset towards VP1. So I just put VP1, VP2. So I'm going to um, take the pencil, take the ruler and I'm drawing a line down in this bottom left hand corner as far as measurement, I could take a measurement off the other one. So, if we're going to be exact, it's about 60 millimetres, 6 centimetres. So, if I draw that line about here, which I'm just off the page there, um, I'm just going to make a point at the top and a point at the bottom. So, we've got that line and <clears throat> the first thing we're going to do is draw these lines from here. So I'm going to put my pencil on the vanishing point and I'm just going to move the ruler across to meet that mark there and then bring it across. Now when you do that you need to take care that you haven't come off the vanishing point there which I do that there. And then coming from this point here we're going across and to vanish point there and vanishing point here. So you can see there that we've created this outer edge wall. The next thing is we've got an entrance way here so we need to move our ruler across and draw two lines that are parallel. If we're going to do the square top to the door um, we can do the doorway um, like with a, a, an, an arch top to the door if you, if you care to. So I've just freehand drawn that in there. And then obviously we'd have an edge coming down here. Now for this point here, we'll come across here. And, and really all we're doing is in drawing this is perhaps if I just, just let me use the fine liner here to just put in some of this corner detail here. Um, I'm just going to start drawing this. So we also need to select a, a width of a line there and put that in. And we can put this top edge in here. And point from there to a vanishing point, line that one up, and we can go into there. Um, I'm just lining this in so that it comes up clearly. This I'll draw in freehand. This line here we lined up with our other vanishing point, VP1. 
and we have a doorway. So you can see there that we've um, created this. Now to start creating these walls. Now all these walls either head towards that vanishing point or head towards that vanishing point. So it's just a case of taking our pencil, picking another point here, and I'm going to line down. Then from that corner, we can go vanishing point and vanishing point, and it's just a point. At, then we can add another point just inside that for the thickness of our wall, and we can go vanishing point and vanishing point. There. So we've got this first inner wall. Then if we want to join, so, so we're going to take a point from here to here. So we need to take this point and I'll turn the page around. It kind of helps to turn the page around on this is there's our line in and then a thickness of a wall and back to the vanishing point there and we've got this line here. Then we have a line coming down which obviously needs to be from there. So now we have we've created this detail here and this detail here. We can end this wall here perhaps so bring another line down. Now you've got a choice here when you're drawing this you can um, obviously pick some point where your maze ends or you could almost create an in um, an infinite maze just stretching off into the distance where the detail would get smaller and smaller just going in into a blur. I've decided to just create a, a finite maze but you could almost create an infinite maze. So we've created a door here and we've created some um, entrances. I might add a gap here so if I come across here with a gap then we need to move this one across here um, and we might add and this is one of these instances where when you have a lot of lines it's good to start taking these lines out I mean I've gone over this with a fine liner so um, what we need and we don't need so I'm going to decide to take this wall out for the time being so we don't need that and I'm going to take this piece out here which means we also need another vertical line there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my fine liner and just add some of this detail. Obviously you don't want to go too far back because we're adding we want to be editing this as we go back. It's kind of a little bit how you decide to draw it and how you create the different aspects of the maze. I just this obviously line should go back to the vanishing point if there's any keep it really accurate we should come back to our vanishing point or our thickness of our wall there and then to be absolutely accurate we can put a vanishing point there and this line here so I've actually drawn it slightly different. I've drawn a, it, it, you know, you can just pick your own kind of maze, how it would work or how it would go in and out with doors and things. But there I've added some detail there. Um, what I'm going to show you now is just, so I've, I've got this corner drawn. Now, what we need to do is we need to add in some shading that will give us some definition. 
So I'm taking an HB pencil and I'm going to start shading. Now what I'm going to do is shade the walls facing, if we're assuming a light source here, the tops of these walls we can leave them virtually unshaded. These side walls we can shade one uh, medium shade and then the walls that are facing the, the rearmost here we can do in a darker shade. And that will just give us some nice definition on defining each wall from the other. So just adding some shading there. And perhaps a darker shade at the bottom working up. That and a lighter shade. This wall here, and a slightly lighter shade. And a little bit of clean up here, keep these, the tops of the walls clear. And then we can see we've got the start of our maze, and then really it's just a case of how much extra detail and how far you want to go. Remembering of course as you go further towards the vanishing point things like doorways and that would, so you can see here if you see the, the size of um, this doorway here compared to this doorway here and then one there would be even smaller. So trying to keep that um, everything proportional as it moves towards the vanishing point. And there is our two point perspective, the maze. Thank you for watching Mr Ridley's Design and Technology.